Hey everyone, it's Starlight Plurs, and as you can see, I'm doing my April favorites. I actually have never done one of these monthly favorite videos before, so let me know what you guys think if you definitely want me to do these every single month or so. I'm just going to try to kind of test this out and see what you guys think. You know, my channel is basically run by you guys, so comment down below let me know what you guys think. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, go into my... Uh, favorites for the month of April and this is predominantly all cosmetics and I have some some non cosmetics but it's still beauty products so for eyeshadows in one of my videos of course very famous Urban Decay Naked Palette love this palette I have not been able to stop using this it is just a beautiful beautiful palette I cannot say enough good things about this it's just a great great palette uh, you can do so many good looks with this for daytime, going to work, if you're in school, going to school, lazy days. You know, if you just want to put one eyeshadow color going out at night, great, great palette. The second um, set of eyeshadows that I have been using a lot are, um, believe it or not, MAC eyeshadows, which you guys saw me buy. Uh, actually, no, I didn't do a haul video because I had only bought a few things at a time, so I didn't want to do a whole video about that, but I have built up my own palette as you guys can see here and let me show you guys the two colors that I have not been able to stop using and you saw it when I did a quick tip video about using a elf magnetic eyeshadow palette I dropped one I can't find it a elf magnetic eyeshadow palette for MAC eyeshadows two individual eyeshadows that I have just been loving so much and they're so easy to work with and so pigmented is all that glitters beautiful beautiful color and very famous one again satin taupe these were the very first pro refill eyeshadows that I bought for building up my MAC palette I do have another favorite eyeshadows by MAC of course I, I do still use my elf eyeshadows and also wet n wild but when I'm in a hurry and I need something very pigmented that is going to be very quick in the morning like, I mean, like, if I have 10 minutes to get ready to get on the highway and go to work, I usually use Urban Decay or MAC just because they're very quick to work with. But another palette that I showed you guys in my first MAC haul is the Trip Warm Eyeshadows palette. I'm going to have to show it upside down so you guys don't get blinded by the mirror. But I have been using three colors in this palette, actually four colors in this palette a lot, which is this gold, expensive pink, and bark, and shroom. All four of those colors together are just absolutely beautiful, and this is perfect for travel because it's so small. Now, along to go with the eyeshadows, I have been really, really loving the MAC Paint Pots, and I have two right here. These actually go well with a lot of eyeshadows from different companies. I have used these both with Wet n Wild eyeshadows and Elf eyeshadows, which are the other two companies that I absolutely love their eyeshadows, just, you know, not just Urban Decay and MAC. This is Rubenesque a beautiful corally golden color and the other one which I think is just a really great versatile color for under a lot of eyeshadows is Bear Study beautiful beautiful color now for blushes I have two blushes that I have not been able to stop using and I use them for different occasions the first one that I have is by NYX and it's one of their rouge cream blushes and mine is in CB05 Glow and this is the creamiest cream blush I have ever used in my entire life. I absolutely love this. And you guys can't see it on camera, but I actually, there's a little dent in it already. But there's quite a lot of product in this. And one great thing, if you guys don't know about this, but um, NYX Cosmetics are hypoallergenic. So, in case you're weary about that like I am. Now, the second blush that I use is one that I bought when I did a bargain alert video and it's by Jane Cosmetics and it's a Be Pure Mineral Blush and the color that I have is 03 Rose Silk and I bought this at a great time because it was 75% um, off and it's going to be very very you know it's a, it's a loose powder but there's the color of it hope you guys can see that but it's a really beautiful flush uh, pink rosy pink color I guess the name kind of does it does it justice but these two I use at different times if I'm having some breakouts like in my cheek area sometimes I do not use this because it tends to take off concealer so I'll use the powder and I'll use this with a little mini kabuki brush now mascaras I have found one mascara that is actually replacing my 
Almay One Co Dial Up Mascara, which was, was, I think, my number one favorite, and one that I bought in my drugstore haul video that I have, is by L'Oreal, and it's the Bare Natural Mascara, and mine is in Black is Black. I have been loving this mascara. Now, I have a confession to make. Although I love eyeshadows, love doing eyeshadow looks, looks lip glosses, and stuff like that, I always was very guilty of skipping mascara. I don't know why, it's just, you know, I would do a whole face look, you know, do eyeliner, everything, and for some reason I would just always skip mascara. I don't know why I did that. But the Alme Mascara kind of got me back into using, you know, using mascara more on a daily basis, but this one I love, love using, even if I'm running late for work. I generally do my eyeshadow, uh, my whole eye look here at home, and then when I get to work I kind of finish up everything else on my face, tinted moisturizer, blush, concealer, kind of everything, you know, depending on how I need once I get inside, you know, fluorescent lighting in an office building, kind of seeing how my skin does, because sometimes I'll let my skin kind of breathe for the day just kind of depends on how my skin is doing. But mascara, I have been loving using now. It just, I love this mascara. And I bought it at a Big Lots at a significantly reduced price. And now every time I go to, um, you know, like a Target or Walmart or Kroger or, you know, some type of grocery store or drugstore, I always look for this just to make sure that it's still available in L'Oreal's permanent line. And it is. Love that mascara. Lip products. I have three lip products that I have not been able to stop using. I've been experimenting with some other lip glosses because, as you guys have heard, or I've told you guys in my videos, I am a eyeshadow and lip gloss junkie. That is my number one weakness. I would say lip glosses more than eyeshadows, but I am, um, yeah, slowly building up a huge collection of eyeshadows. I know this question is probably going to come up eventually, so let me go ahead and answer it before anyone, uh, and questions this but I know it probably seems like I buy a lot of eyeshadows and makeup in general there's a reason for that recently about two or three times I went through my entire makeup collection which was extremely old I had a lot of makeup from my high school days which was almost 10 years ago I can't believe that but almost 10 years ago, and I know it's really bad to hold on to a lot of makeup past a certain number of years, so I actually threw out almost everything and started from scratch. And I started with e.l.f. Cosmetics, or Eyes, Lips, Face. So I didn't want to just kind of stick with just one company and just not really try out other companies. So I kind of wanted to restart a new makeup collection and try out other companies, not just e.l.f. So that is why I have lately been buying so much makeup is because I honestly don't have too much anymore. And of course it's kind of trial and error because for a lot of years, I would say all throughout college and maybe the last, the first two years after college, I was kind of in what I call a beauty rut where you kind of keep using the same products over and over and over and over and over again and don't really experiment with any other companies. That's what I was doing until, um, you know, I just finally kind of woke up and just trashed everything because a lot of it was old, dried out, and just, you know, past the expiration date of how long you should keep stuff. So that is why I've been buying so much. I just kind of want to put a disclaimer out there. Anyway, enough about that. So lip products that I have not been able to stop using. I have two by NYX. The first one is a round lipstick in Indian pink, which I think I might have talked about before, but I'm not sure. But I absolutely love this color. I think it's great for the summertime. It's a really pretty pinky coral. But sometimes if you put a little bit too much of this on your lips, I think it'd be a little too, like a pinky frost. So I like to pair this off with a Mega Shine lip gloss and perfect. I love this color. And of course it does have your angle doe foot applicator, which I absolutely love because it takes out more product. The two of these together, really great combination. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. Now, the third lip product that I love so much, and it's for me it's a little bit more work appropriate because it's a coral, but it's more toned down. And I don't really have to worry about, you know, layering on too much color and looking like my lips are coming from like a, I don't know, like too frosty finish. But this is by Rimmel. And you guys saw this in another one of my videos. And this is in Coral Shimmer. And I absolutely love, love this color. This color at first goes on very sheer, but you can build it up. So for me, this is perfect for a you know professional work environment. Now, so that's really all that I have for cosmetics. I have two kind of body products, which of course are going to be lush. 
One is the Dorothy Bubble Bar, which I just kind of have half of it because I've already used the other one. Love this bubble bar. And I know Luscious Pal, you just made a video recently about a Lush review where you talked about um, the Dorothy Bubble Bar. And I did comment on your video, but just wanted to say hey and thanks for the shout out. So I just wanted to say hey again. But uh, I love this bubble bar. I really do. It smells just like figs and leaves. And it goes really, really well with Sakura Bath Bomb. Now, for lotions, what I have been loving for the summertime, actually, is also by Lush, and it's Charity Pot. And this is the one for donating to um, the uh, Quake, uh, Quake Rehabilitation. I really can't pronounce the whole name of it. But anyway, so this is Charity Pot, and I just think it's a very fresh smell. It does have almond oil in it, but to me, it's just a very, very fresh smell. I just really like it for the summertime. I just love using it after getting out of the shower. It's just so refreshing. Hair products, I basically use the same things as in my Lush hair care and review video. And as far as face products, you know, found well, I don't really use foundation, but concealer and eyeliner, all that, it's in my um, what's in my makeup bag video. I kind of stick to that. That I stick to the same stuff of. So yeah, that is my monthly favorites for April. Let me know what you guys think. And thank you for watching. Bye.